I'm Helen Glover and this is Supermum Adventures with Cotswold Outdoor. This week, what are we doing, Logan? Litter picking! We're litter picking. Kids and young people nowadays, they're really well educated on the problems of our planet, so the big global issues. And sometimes that can be really scary, talking about climate change and it can feel really intimidating. Laser picking is a great way to bring that down to a really small scale. Pick up one cup and you could have saved one hedgehog and that's amazing for kids. How empowering is that? So that's why I love litter picking with my family. It's really important to look after what's on your doorstep. That, I mean, essentially, that, that's what you can control. Litter picking means you're going out with a purpose. They're, there could be a competition to it, you could try and see how much litter you collect, or you could just feel good about the fact that you've helped the environment a little bit. You're still getting exercise, you're still getting fresh air, and you're also educating your children nice and gently as you do it. Places like this are a perfect example. It's a beauty spot. People come here, pull up and look at the view and then leave the rubbish behind. And so places like this can actually be a great place to start with litter picking. There's nothing more frustrating than a child who's ready to fill up their bag with rubbish than finding nothing even though that's a good thing for us. So we come up to places where they know there's probably going to be something for them to pick up. You can use your hands if you want to, but maybe put some gloves on if you're going to pick up some rubbish. Um, the kids love a litter picker. It's a great way to get them involved. It's really fun to use. Right, come on, show us how it's done, Logie. There we're, hey, into the bag. Good job, Logie. Let's get that in. Yeah! You took that one by surprise, didn't you? You took that sandwich wrapper by surprise. Good job. And what could happen if we leave rubbish in the environment? Bad. I know, but maybe could animals get trapped in the rubbish? Yep. And where, where could all this rubbish end up? Where? In the, where? In the ocean could get washed out to sea and then what would happen if it was washed out to sea? The fish could eat it or a turtle. Why? Because that's where all the rubbish ends up. It gets washed out into our drains and our rivers. But it won't, all this stuff won't because of us. Fist bump. No fist bump. Boom. No. Oh. Go on then, let's do teamwork. Come on. Oh, we've got it. Good teamwork. Phew. So Logie just said, phew, we saved humanity. <laughs> but there is that sense of any small thing you do where you feel like you've made the environment that little bit better. I mean, to a kid, that is saving the world. It's amazing. It's saving their world, isn't it? So Logie, did you enjoy litter picking? Right, we enjoyed our litter picking and we'd love to see some of yours. So please send and in your photos and hashtag... Make the right choice. Make the right choice. And you might be in with a chance for Cotswold Outdoor to send you some vouchers. And I'm going to challenge Helen and Kate Richardson-Walsh and Amy Fuller, wherever you are, pick up some litter, send me a photo. Go on, get your litter pickers out. <laughs>